the social and, and territorial uh, imbalances uh, uh, associated with economic growth are not a new phenomenon, as I said. It's just accelerated uh, dramatically, but it's not a new, a new phenomenon. And uh, uh, historically, there have been uh, a, a number of uh, uh, policies, uh, uh, traditional policies, uh, uh, to uh, um, uh, sort of address the, the, uh, the spatial inequalities. Um, uh, we have had all sorts of uh, uh, regional development uh, programs, uh, basically, uh, you know, focusing on uh, uh, central government investment in infrastructure uh, at the periphery. Uh, this, uh, uh, I mean, th 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 this effort has been more or less, uh, uh, you know, sincere, more or less uh, uh, supported, uh, uh, depending on the context. Uh, uh, but generally, uh, generally speaking, uh, the, 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 the results have been mixed, and uh, uh, and and, and uh, they've not. Uh, this program have not really managed to, uh, to uh, um, substantially correct uh, or, or eliminate uh, the, the, uh, the, the spatial imbalances. Uh, so, uh, you know, as a reaction, uh, uh, rather re until rather uh, recently, as a reaction, uh, um, some have suggested that maybe we should simply abandon this uh, this issue. Maybe maybe there is nothing to do with uh, with the inequalities, with spatial inequalities. We should accept them. Um, uh, maybe we should accept them uh, transitionally. Um, but but actually we should uh, we should not attempt to correct them because uh, in attempting to correct them uh, we may uh, uh, damage uh, the prospects of growth. Um, actually, if you uh, read the uh, uh, World Development Report of the World Bank in 2009, so not, we're not talking about decades ago, we're talking about five years ago. Until five years ago, you know, that was the message. Uh, forget about uh, uh, balanced development. Uh, development is, by definition, unbalanced and, and therefore, as I say, trying to correct it may damage, uh, uh, try, try to, correct, uh, to correct the imbalance may damage growth. But as I, as I said, more recently, uh, uh, people have started to realize, it, to realize that uh, no, maybe the, uh, you know, the, 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 the kind of, of threats that uh, imbalances uh, uh, create uh, for both social cohesion, political stability and growth are so uh, important and growing that uh, we need, uh, we cannot ignore them. We cannot, uh, we have to address them. Maybe then the problem is to come up with some uh, uh, new, different, more uh, effective policies rather than abandoning uh, uh, the issue or renouncing uh, the issue. And, 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 and so people have started to look at the, at the traditional policies and uh, trying to, to, to understand what was not working and why they were not, uh, they were not really effective. Uh, and, and, and two sorts of uh, general conclusions were, were reached. Uh, the, the first one is that uh, uh, those policies are, were uh, extremely um, uh, top-down, uh, uh, sector, uh, sectorialized as, as a logic, fragmented. Uh, there was, uh, uh, it was extremely difficult uh, to uh, address the, the Problem, uh, the problem of a locality in a comprehensive way and uh, to, uh, uh, to develop packages, integrated packages of, uh, of infrastructure investments. But this kind of uh, uh, sectoral intervention were, were carried out in an uncoordinated way. Uh, and also uh, uh, they were carried out uh, um, in, a, in a two uh, unfocused, diffused uh, uh, way as a, as a sort of a distributive, redistributive policy uh, um, that uh, did not uh, prioritize uh, 
uh, in terms of the uh, um, uh, you know the, the territorial uh, um, potential and and and, and uh, to, to 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 increase the effectiveness of these policies. Uh, so. Uh, fragmented, uh, uh, not integrated, and, dis and, and dispersed. Uh, uh, another uh, another uh, um, uh, line of, of, uh, uh, of evaluation uh, uh, was even more uh, uh, pessimist in, 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 in the sense that uh, um, um, came to realize that uh, uh, the, the, the sheer magnitude of the imbalances, of the territorial imbalances, both uh, in, uh, between regions uh, and, uh, and, and, and even within uh, regions or within the major cities uh, between uh, uh, you know, uh, sections, uh, portions of the city, the slums, and uh, the, the sheer magnitude of, of, this, of these imbalances uh, was such that, uh, uh, you know, it was very difficult uh, to address them with, uh, um, with public spending only, uh, particularly uh, when uh, you know states were uh, were subject to uh, uh, pressures for fiscal austerity and you know to, to reduce taxes to reduce uh, the reduce spending and, and so on uh, so this this these two things uh, sort of, of came together on one end the policies were fragmented top down not integrated and not strategically uh, strategically focused uh, in, in terms of the territorial potential. And on the other end, the, 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 the amount of the problem, I mean, the, the, the magnitude of the problem was such that uh, uh, other ways had to be found uh, uh, beside uh, the, 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 the public sector spending in infrastructure investment. So, uh, with this uh, sort of, uh, of uh, conclusion, uh, conclusions in, in, in mind, uh, one uh, has to look uh, for uh, better, uh, you know, uh, more, effective, uh, more effective policies. Uh, what, what, what would be the, uh, uh, the, the, the main features of this, uh, of this more effective policies? Uh, well, first of all, some effort should be made to address the very cause of the imbalances. Uh, so, uh, maybe we should rethink the uh, economic development model itself that created those, uh, those imbalances and uh, you know, pay more attention to the, de the development of domestic demand and the domestic market uh, uh, rather than uh, uh, exclusively uh, focus on, 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 uh, on uh, export-oriented uh, export uh, sectors and, uh, and, and, and trying to connect to the, to the global market and attract the global capital. So, a rebalancing of the very model that creates the, the, the imbalances. And then, uh, when it comes to the imbalance, uh, imbalances themselves uh, have a, a more uh, uh, pragmatic uh, uh, attitude. First of all, uh, 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 do not demonize urbanization, but rather embrace it, accept it for all that it can bring uh, to, uh, uh, the, uh, to, 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 to economic growth uh, and, and eventually the, the, uh, uh, the uh, alleviation of poverty. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and, and so, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, do not uh, um, uh, create uh, too many obstacles, actually, but to uh, rural-urban uh, uh, migration, uh, but, 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 but rather try to uh, um, facilitate it and, and, and manage it uh, rather than try to avoid it. So that, that, that one el element. And, and the, the other element, when it comes to uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, 
in, uh, public investment uh, and uh, uh, in uh, at the periphery of the country in uh, uh, both at the periphery of the country and at the periphery of the of the globalizing cities uh, because the the, the, the uh, there is this correspondence uh, between imbalances at the regional level and imbalances within uh, gl uh, globalizing cities uh, when it comes to, to the to the effort to correct those, those imbalances uh, uh, first of all, uh, be more strategic on where you uh, invest and therefore look at the potential for uh, uh, local economic development uh, in, in, in certain areas uh, and the connection, look for, look for the potential of certain secondary cities and, and, and other uh, peripheral regions to be connected to the, uh, uh, to the uh, global uh, uh, market uh, um, and there are areas which are of course have, have greater potential than, than, than others. So be more strategic uh, in uh, investing and uh, package these, uh, uh, these investments in infrastructure with an attention uh, to, the, uh, 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 to, to, to the local economy and uh, local economic, the promotion of local economic development. So uh, package this, this, this thing uh, together. And, and, and finally, uh, when it comes to uh, um, uh, you know, uh, correcting imbalances in terms of access to services and so on, uh, uh, try to mobilize. Uh, uh, people initiatives, people resources, uh, bring, bring uh, communities and private sector into uh, a, uh, an effort to co-provide and co-produce uh, uh, services. So this, this uh, uh, basic uh, uh, features uh, uh, would, would characterize uh, a, a new generation of policies. Now, uh, you immediately realized that to do that, uh, you also will have to uh, uh, have a, a um, I mean, in order to have more locally responsive use of the uh, limited uh, central uh, resources and in order to mobilize, uh, you know, additional uh, resources from communities and private sector, uh, you need uh, empowered local governments. You cannot do it. Uh, without them, they will be the main tool for implementation of this new generation of uh, policies to correct uh, uh, spatial and, and, and social inequalities. Uh, so basically this is the rationale of a, uh, a territorial approach to local development. This is the rationale for the government to adopt a policy that promotes local development as we have defined uh, before.